in this video tutorial i am going to talk about c++ 11 standard language new data structure called tuple tuple is a data structure which keeps different object values of different types together in a single object if you are using a compiler which doesn't support c++ 11 this code will not work with your compiler so make sure your compiler should support c++ 11 to use tuple let's get started with the program to see how you can use tuple in our code also let me tell you tuple is also known as extended pair you can keep more than two values or any number of values in a pair in a tuple so giving some meaningful name so tuple intro creating a simple console application here zoom in again so you can see code more clearly and to use tuple in your code you should include header file called tuple and we also needing io string because we will be using hash uh, see out and see like function last using name space yes. okay. to get started i am creating a tuple called info which keeps info of employee uh, his name salary and uh, age and finally his uh, birth year just to demonstrate i am taking random example here so tuple which gives value for my string and again to use string i need to use include string okay for the string another for age i am keeping in then for salary the data type is tuple and for birth year i am again keeping in giving name as in now you can initialize tuple over here also and you can uh, define info first and then also then using some uh, function you can initialize that info but in this for first example i am keeping initialization at place of definition only so giving some name pretty then a would be say 27 and salary is a 20000 and again h year is or uh, birth year is 86 so i have created a tuple called info added its value here and that contains a string then an integer then a double and then then again an integer now to access elements of this tuple info we can use get function we have in angular bracket we can write the index of the tuple we want to use so string is at zero position first position is the integer and so on and so forth so i want to use double which is at position 2 so get 2 of into so this should give me 20000 let's see if you can print 20000 so i am using see out printing the post value it is compiling compiling yeah you can see 20000 yes now this gate actually returns a reference here reference for this value i can very well change that reference or i can change that value using that reference i can for second position of info i want to set some value here 20000 is there and i am saying 25000 if i again print it out it should show 25000 yeah you can see here 25000 right now i have Defined and initialized tuple here only. The same way I can use any convenience function 
to initialize my tuple that convenience function would be make tuple so info equals to make tuple and then I can initialize values here name is 30 then age is uh, 27 salary 25,000 and finally date of year is or birth year is 80. We can also assign one tuple to another tuple. Like we have created one more tuple here info1 and we can say info1 equals to info. What I am doing here is assigning all the values of this tuple info to info1. So this is member by member assignment. Right. So if you see value of this tuple, I am just putting breakpoint here. And if I go and see value of this info1, it says again 28, 27, 25,000.0000 and then 86. So I have copied one tuple to another. Even I can compare two tuples. So if I say info is greater than info one, say info is greater. Else, say info is smaller. this I know both the elements are same so it should go to else block it says intro is smaller now I am going to do some smaller value to info now here info is so 27 I am saying here 24 so now info is smaller or let's say it's a negative condition we already checked we say info is greater now it should say info is greater value of info one first or info after assignment one of info and putting value twenty eight here and I can put here twenty seven only now value of in info is twenty eight and value of info one is 27 so because after assignment I have changed the value if I see it should show info is greater right so it is called lexographical comparison one more thing very interesting thing you can do with tuple and that is you can take all the values in different variables so you have this info tuple which has all these values so what we can do is here we are creating some variables here of string type then another one is of int type age yet another is double which is of which will keep salary and last one is year now there is a library function called type here i can give name comma age comma salary comma year to info. Now all these values are getting extracted in these variables. So let's say age should be now 27. Let's try to print value of age here and we should see 27. See, 27. So you have magically extracted all the values of tuple into these variables. Finally, tuple is more or like a structure. You can keep different data types together. Difference is uh, you can do lot many magical things with tuple. So you need to take 
decision whether you should be using structure or double uh, with your requirement hope you enjoyed this video please uh, add comment or uh, for your theory or suggestion that will encourage me to keep more videos and improve for later video thank you very much